when you look at omnivores, animals that eat everything, they all have a snout, a bear, a rat, a pig, a wild boar. They've got snouts because they have to be able to kill during the times that they don't have access to anything else other than, a dead, than animals. So we were not designed in any way at all to be able to kill and rend. Neither do we ever look at an animal walking in the field and go, hmm. Lions do, cheetahs do, we don't. And neither do we come upon a corpse and say, I'm taking that home. Even though we've been enculturated, it's against our fundamental instincts. See, it's what's for dinner. Let's get down to a more fundamental question. What is food for any organism? Food is a substance that that organism will take in and it can be converted, transmuted into the, the flesh and blood or whatever it is. So it's going to be able to take in this substance and convert it into its living structure. That which cannot be converted is going to cause harm unless you get rid of it because it's going to get in the way. We can define broadly as poison. So we got food and poison. Food can be transmuted, poison cannot. You've got to get rid of it. So if you look at that definition, you'd have to think about what, what are most people eating? 98% poison. Now, let's say you take something like broccoli. What is in the food, what is in the broccoli that is so important? Well, in addition to what we have identified as macronutrients, you know, carbs, proteins, and fats, and micronutrients such as vitamins and minerals, there's another element in this food that is absolutely essential, and it's called life.